Yes, this is a quote that I came to do for my good friend Henry. He's his next cutting prospect. He's out of Papa Top Pep. He's a great cutting horse and he's kind of old fashioned bred. And on his papers is Peppy Sand Badger, twice Doc, Polina, and Dry Doc. So that's pretty impressive. He's got really, really impressive papers. And I've been working with this colt here for about two weeks now. Uh, so he was really, really hard to catch. He's super flighty. He's got a lot of movement on his front end. And uh, today he was on his best behavior. Um, we're just going to hear, come here and see if we can catch him. It used to, usually it takes me about five minutes to catch him. But uh, today he is doing real, real good for us. He kind of let me put the halter on and everything real nice and easy. So uh, we had a big improvement uh, from the day before. And uh, so he's, he's really coming along real, real nice. And I'm liking this colt more and more. The more I work with him, the better off, uh, the, the better he becomes. And we're just gonna start brushing him. Took him to the round pin here. This is gonna be a kind of a quick clip on just a little bit of the stuff that I do with my colts to get them going. I, they're all trained the same. All, every colt that I work with is trained the same, so they all know the same. So whenever I go work with them again, all I gotta do is start uh, from wherever I left off. Now, as you can see right here, he's kind of moving away from me and he doesn't want me to touch that back end. Now, if I had quit right there, he'd learn how to move away from me. So I just had to reposition myself and kind of get him around so that uh, he would let me touch him. Now what I like to do is I like always to teach my horses to bring their head down. So I'll put the pressure on top of their head and ask them to bring their head down. Once they start to give to me with that, then I just leave it alone. Okay, And sooner or later they just kind of start bringing their head down real nice and easy. It's what I'm looking for. And then I like to teach them to move their front end. So here I'm going to push at his face a little bit. And uh, he's just kind of walking around. He's not really moving his front end properly. But, you know, at the stage where he's at, uh, it's okay for the moment. Pretty soon he'll get better and better. He'll start to learn how to plant those back feet and uh, just move off of his front feet. And we're going to move him in both directions and get him, get him turned around in both directions here. And whenever I move him around, when I bring him to a stop, I give him a, a real nice quiet whoa. So they learn how to stop when I ask them. And, uh, and then I like to give them a lot of rubs. Here I'm going to go ahead and uh, teach him how to uh, handle something in his mouth. I put my finger in his mouth there and I'm rubbing him real, real good. And um, so he'll know, you know, something in his mouth, it doesn't bother him so much. And then uh, we're going to ask him to move at the hip. That's the next thing I like first. Move at the hip. Move at the face. Then I like to, to learn to move their hip away. He's, he's coming along real good. He, he's a real quick moving type colt. Um, today he was especially calm, which was really nice because I had a big, big change in him, and which is what I was looking for. Uh, I like to teach him to lunge in both directions at a walk, trot, and canter. Um, so here we're going to just let him walk around a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of exaggerate the movement at the hip with him. Here, whenever I get him to come in, I'm gonna want him to to come move that hip away from my rope when I ask him. So there we go. See him. He paid good attention. He's seeing his ears perk up. He perked up real nice. I'm gonna do it to the other side too. And he doesn't quite move right, but then I'm gonna correct him. Give him time to settle. And I'm gonna ask him to back up. I want him to move. I want him to move and pay attention to me. And which he's doing real, real well. You can see his ears. His ears are really, he's really got his ear on me. You can see him going around right there. You can see his ear on me. The one ear is pinned on me. He's just looking. And you can see me slow him down. I, I get him to a trot. Once he goes to a trot, I'll slow him down with that rope. I just shake it just a little bit. Um, I like to have a lot of ground control with my horses. So when I get on him, um, not only will they respect me from the top, they respect me from the ground, ground also. And he's real nice. I do a lot of rubbing. I do a lot of rubbing on my colts. And a lot of moving. I like to push them. I push them a lot. I ask them to move, to set themselves. I want him to set himself proper. So, and we're going to go ahead and lunge.
nudge him here just a little bit. We're getting him to a lope there. He hadn't been out of his pen in, in about two, a couple of days because we had some rain. So he's he kind of a little, little jumpy. He wants to jump and play around. And he's trying to hold his, uh, his energy in. And he's doing a real good job of it. I'm not, as you can see, I just ask him. I just pluck there. Now this section here, I kind of like to... Um, I'm going to ask him to bring his head in around. It's what I call it a half tap. And uh, I'd like to thank Paul Williamson from Hybrid Horsemanship for his flash drive. Uh, now, if you get his flash drive, this will show you what you can do with a bigger horse, but you can also do this with a young colt, as I'm doing here. And it sure does get a real nice handle on these young colts. You can see he's giving me his head real, real nice and easy right there. And, and I'm just rubbing him. This isn't a flex exercise. This is a give to me exercise. Okay, so it's a lot of difference between flexing and doing what I just did there with him. Okay, now we're gonna just let him get soft. Move him around. As you can see, my horses start to move around when I ask them to turn in one direction. They move the way they're supposed to. They're not being silly. So we're gonna go ahead and ask them the other direction. You can see, I, put, I like to put my thumb on their neck and just kind of bend it just a little bit to put that pressure. And there he goes. He's giving real, real nice. You can see. Real, real nice. He gave real nice. I'm giving some rubs. Rub his ears. Everything. He's not trying to get flighty and crazy on me and run away. This really, really works nice with these young colts. And it helps a lot whenever you're lunging them. They won't pull away from you and jerk. Just jerk away from you and jerk your arm out. Uh, it teaches them a lot of respect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait and let it all set in. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for him to start chewing his lips. You know, to chewing, give me some, and I'd like to see his head go down a little bit. But he's not doing it quite yet, and which is all right. So we just kind of let it go for the moment. But as you can see, I just barely move my hand and see how much movement he has with his, with his head. He right away gave to me. And this carries on to the riding. Someday whenever you get to riding. Whoever gets to ride him, he'll be a real, real nice colt to handle. He'll, he'll turn real, real nice and smooth and easy. And this is where it all starts. you got to get a good handle at the bottom before you can get it at the top. So anyways, we're waiting here on him. Just give him time. See, there comes the chewing. There it comes. That's exactly what I'm looking for right there. Again, the head's kind of softening right there. You know, he's kind of paying attention to me a little bit better. Real nice. He's, he's relaxed quite a bit compared to normal. You can look at his back legs. They're still kind of wide on the back. His stance. There he goes. He's correcting his stance again. And now I kind of ask. I just wanted him to move his head and he didn't quite move it the way I like. There we go. He gave to me. That's exactly what I like. So I'd like to thank everybody.